the last scenario of five electron densities is when you when you're going to have three lone pairs and two bonding pairs so six electrons in the outer shell not bonding and uh, two pairs of bonding uh, electrons that are bonded to some atom so again you have a total of five electron densities the basic shape is going to be trigonal bipyramidal but um, first thing I'm going to uh, think of a molecule that has uh, three lone pairs and two bonding pairs of electrons and that molecule is uh, is I3 and has a charge of one minus and what the basic shape is that uh, an iodine is bonded to uh, an iodine atom in the middle is bonded to two iodine atoms so their bonds are complete and this iodine over here has a total of uh, three lone pairs it's basically gaining one electron which is why this entire ion has a minus one charge on it so I'm going to figure out try and figure out what the shape is going to be so I'm going to I'm going to take this triangle pyramidal shape and I'm going to change that there's going to be an iodine in the center so that's one iodine in the center there's going to be an iodine at the top so one iodine at the top in green one iodine bonded at the bottom and they're going to be three lone pairs so these uh, electron densities over here they would be lone pairs of electrons so i'm going to rub them off one by one so get rid of this bond instead put a lone pair on this side and get rid of this other electron density over here and put a lone pair on that side as well so there goes another lone pair on that side and remove this bond over here this electron density over here and put a lone pair on that side as well so the basic uh, shape was the same but since you have three electron densities uh, where nothing is bonded the lone pairs there's nothing bonded or attached on this side so they would be they would not be counted in shape so what the what the shape is going to become is you just have two iodines bonded and they're bonded in a straight line so it's going to be a linear molecule uh, the three electron densities in the middle would try to keep uh, as far away from each other as possible these lone pairs but they're not going to affect the position of these bonds so the shape of this molecule is going to be it's going to be called uh, it's going to be called linear and the angle would be 180 degrees so you you're going to have 180 degree bond angles in this molecule 